Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be doing something quite different and it will be to review accounts. So today will be my first episode and for the first episode I decided to review an account which I always pilot in training arena and it's actually uh, Francis account. So first of all, let's take a look at his attachments. As you can see, his light is currently G7 purple and he almost has G8. He just needs one G8 light side to be G8 light. And now we move on to his heavy attachments. And you can see that it's 19, 19, 19 because he's actually a sniper. And it's all G8, which means he's fully G8 heavy. Okay, let's check out his melee. Wow, uh, his melee is also G8 purple and it's 16, 14, 19. And actually, I made the sculpture 19 because damage bonus is very important for sniper. And let's take a look at his armor. Wow, his armor is 19, 19, 20, and it's all G8 also. That means he has three G8 attachments already, and and he only needs one side to be fully G8. So next, let's take a look at his compilation. Wow, he seems to have acquired almost every formula. And everything is level 7. He's only missing helmet, non violence and shield. And the only way to increase this is to upgrade the special rest. Let's take a look at it. Hmm, I'm not sure that even if he upgrades all of this, that he can reach level 7. And it'll take too much gold bars and nano. Now let's take a look at the attributes that the level 7 compilation will give. So for head, it will give a... Uh, Crit immunity plus 3%, reduce crit damage plus 2%, and explosion damage plus 3%. For non firearms, it will give 1 AP, 3% damage bonus, and 5 block. And for shield, it will give 3% crit damage reduction, 1% damage reduction, and increase max shield by 30, and shield recovery plus 1. And I don't think it's very worth to upgrade all of this because it's quite expensive. And the attributes are quite low. Now let's check what drones this account has. From the hangar, you can see that he has an early Sakura and a Sakura, which are both CE drones. And he has four Night Spirits, all fused with Red Lotus and the Tier 3 Shield drone. And if you look at his cabinet, uh, where is it? You can see that he has uh, a few Aurora Guards, a few War Tigers. Uh, these are his daily drones, I guess. And you look at this cabinet, you can see that he has a few bloodthirsty sharks and also a few spare night spirits. Now let's take a look at the gears you can craft. So from the compilation, you can see that he has all the skins already. It looks like he still has some crafts left for the sniper rifle and the assault rifle. Let's look at his drones. Uh, he has crafted all the night spirits, still has some pack chips. He still has 7 hot, hot bees, uh, no more skywards, uh, he has 2 of the light shield CEs, the early sakura, and he has no more polaris. Now let's look at the formula plus that this account has. So for the antiviral, he has all level 6 components except for the attack component. And for his general formula, you can see that he has a lot of formulas and he has named them after the cert that is good for. My favorite one is probably the GG War, which has a lot of crit immunity and it can be locked until level 5. So for his helmet, he has this customized infection hunter with 9 users left. And he has a lot of other formulas, like this static one, which can be locked until level 5. It has damage to infected, light firearm, and static recognition. Now for his gun F+, you can see that he modeled a lot of F+, and there's also a name for it, which is probably the job that he uses them for. Now let's take a look at his cert. As you can see, his levels are actually not max, and this is probably what held him back from being rank 1 the last season in Death High. His skills are all max, except for this, which is probably useless. Now let's look at his Death High rankings. As you can see, he managed to get rank 4, even though he was only level 23 last season. And in season 9, I think he wasn't able to get rank 1 because uh, his heavy attachments were still grade 5. Now let's look at his gene. So his purple gene is 8.4k score, and the red gene is 6.5k score. These are the overall stats. 
now if we look at his outfits, he seems to have quite a lot of CE outfits and a lot of other gacha outfits. And if you look at his garage, he has all these CE cars like this one, this one, and this one. Now let's try to test the damage. So huh, these are the account stats of Fancy. And this is the account stats of the other account. So there seems to be some differences in the damage. Now let's try to go to Nancy. Okay, thanks for watching guys, this is probably the cringest video I've ever done.